right now we're in Phoenix, Arizona. We're at Fight Ready MMA. And I'm here training with Captain America over here, Captain Eric Albertson. He puts in a lot of these tactics for me that he got from the military. And uh, just I'll be looking through these lenses. I'm going to try to catch these balls. So just hand-eye coordination, especially when you're dizzy enough fighting. You don't know where you're at. He looks like the Terminator. Right? Henry 3.0 sent back from the future to change the path. That last fight is the past. That last fight is behind him. It's been two years. It's been a little over two years since I fought Demetrius. He can barely see out these glasses, but he has to anticipate the path of my strike. Fighting for a world title, especially fighting somebody that defeats you, it's extremely special to me. Like, it's not just an opportunity, but it's extremely special to me knowing that I want to get a second crack at the guy that defeated me the first time. Oh, nice. You know, not too many people get a second chance against the pound for pound best fighter in the world, so it's, I'm excited, and I'm excited to actually fight him this time. Yeah, <laughs> me. Yeah. Fucking launch me. Yep. Those are cookies for dogs, not you guys. Do not eat those. <laughs> okay, that's good. Oh, Dad, we're going to destroy it short. Whoa, put it back. Let's go. That was huge. Yeah, I'm fighting Henry Cejudo. Uh, it's a rematch. We fought at UFC 197 about two years ago. Where the hell is your brother? Yeah, one of Oh, my goodness, one of those. Look. I'm You know, I'm going to my 12th title defense. There hasn't been another athlete in the world of mixed martial arts that's gone on 12 consecutive title defenses. I've always been there. I've always shown up to defend this belt. We got all our stuff. We got the cage. We got the plants. We're ready to go for our path. Yeah, and I just keep on fucking knocking him down, man. I guess he went. I think he know. I think he knows you. I always say I'm not about the bug life. Take that part off. Okay. But I support them. Support them. Okay, you can Then you be the cricket talking. God no! Please give me one more chance to get out of here. Please. <laughs> Never. I got sharp. Yeah, eat him. Awesome. DJ is extremely um, disciplined mentally. His work ethic is unparalleled in, in the world. And um, we don't really have to worry about not being ready or taking an opponent light. Our fight is not against the opponent, it's against ourselves. We're working on things with DJ every time he comes out, every day that he comes into the gym, and we want to see him improve every piece of his game. There's all kinds of tools in the toolbox, and you don't know which one's going to come out until the opponent, uh, until the opponent shows you which one's going to come out. Uh, we're going up to Squat Peak. I grew up coming here when I was a kid. My coach used to always bring us, Frank Sines used to always bring us out here. We used to run it every uh, every Saturday, Sunday. And not only, not, not only did we hike it or run up it once, but we would do it twice. It's just old school. This is where this chest hair is grown. <laughs> Fear the patch. The second match, you're going to see yourself. You're going to lift all the pressure off you. We're gonna find a million reasons to put a pressure on Mighty Mouse. We are preparing to win the flyweight championship of the world. The belt, the gold, the legacy, the castle. It's all there for the taking. Go take it. <laughs> Today was a good day.
Better run. <laughs> Fight week, exciting man. Staples Center fighting Cody Garbrandt rematch. Uh, finally close this chapter off with uh, Team Alpha Male and all the, all the bull crap. Now pull the leg out so you don't trap, right? Nope. And I'll turn and I'll re reach the Kimura here with the hook. And I flip you over. Felipe de Monica, he's been uh, the head instructor at Gracie Baja in Ir Irvine. And uh, he's been a huge influence in my last two camps. In the last two years of me moving down to Southern California, he's added a lot to my game with my flows, with uh, my scrambles, mm -hmm. me uh, getting certain positions. I'm a killer, man. I'm a killer now once it hits the floor, and uh, I haven't even got to show it yet. My only fight was Cody, and I knocked Cody out in the second round, didn't even get to show it off. So uh, we plan on uh, giving him that death squeeze this fight. Oh, he faced face is red. <laughs> He's about to pass His off. vein is popping up. Keep the, keep the pressure. <laughs> Woo. He's so focused on what's going on. Having a baby in fight camp is awesome, honestly. Especially for TJ to come home at night and what is more relaxing or soothing or bringing more joy than this little face. <laughs> um, so Did you say relaxing? <laughs> Did you say rela it's a very joyful and a distraction? I wouldn't say it's relaxing. What? Okay, well I would. Feeling good, you know, just taking care of a little bit of business. Me and the wife got some pedicures. Uh, I got a, my buddy coming in town to fit me in for my suits for fight week. That's the banger. That's the banger right there. This will be the one with the belt. Yes, sir. Look at that, man. Champ. 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 The champ. Still. I guarantee you, Tony's gonna come out in the three piece. Like, Same thing. The like yeah. English shit. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's cool. It's whatever. But yeah, this shit we got a little bit more style, style man. man. This is the. The last time I'll ever have to hear Cody Garbrandt's name. You know, I mean, I'm going to ruin his career at 135 pounds. He'll never get another shot, you know. He's, he's the guy that didn't go back and get better. I'm going to beat him twice in a row, and uh, I'm the champ. He'll never come back and get it again. We, we, we plan my suits around my belt. <laughs> Oh, it's been great. You know, the last uh, few days in Sacramento have been amazing. I've had all my family out here. Uh, my mom has spent a few weeks, my little sister staying with us, and just, just being around family time. One of the best things that's probably happened to me, it is the best thing that's happened to me and my wife, but uh, especially for my career too, it's helped me you know, find that balance. But, you know, I go in the gym from there, multiple hours a day and when I leave the gym you know what I mean like I, I go home to a different life a new life <laughs> cheers guys thank you it makes me push harder when I'm tired you know when my body's sore I always think my little son I want to give him the world you know I know through fighting I'm able to you know? hey guys uh, it's all about bringing the, the belt back with, with Cody having an awesome performance this is a great moment let's fucking enjoy it baby oh.